Jenna and I today are going to be co-teaching a classroom um, on a lesson about clocks and we're going to use the resource teaching math to people with down syndrome specifically looking at chapter 12 which has to do with time and measurement so today we're just going to be focusing on learning about the shorthand or the hour hand so our materials today are going to include our own classroom clock and then we also have little individual clocks for the students to have too and we also if you want handy in your classroom a schedule for the students to look at for our lesson today we're gonna have whiteboard markers you can have plenty of them and the whiteboard obviously explain the procedure we'll be using today we're gonna start with introducing the clocks what type of clocks we're using and then we'll move on to review the classroom schedule we have an example right here and then we're gonna ask our students what their favorite part of the day is so for example somebody might say reading or recess and then we'll ask them to show that time on the little box that we have provided for them and then at the end we'll assess what they've learned by telling time on a larger clock we'll be able to change it on here and then we'll ask them to show certain hours that we come up with on their little clock. Okay class, so today we're going to talk about clocks, okay? And now I know we've seen the digital clocks before, but does anybody tell me what this kind of clock is called when it's written out? Do you guys know? No? It's called an analog clock, okay? Can we say that word together? Analog. Very good. And when you look at the analog clock, we have the long hand, and then we also have the short hand. Now looking, like I said, we have the long hand here, the blue hand, it's coming up to 12, and that long hand is going to be for the minutes, but we're not going to worry about the long hand today. We're just going to focus on this little red hand over here, which is also red on your little clock in front of you, which is the hour what hour we're on okay and that's the only one that we're gonna focus on today so before we start with our clocks this is our classroom schedule that we're all very familiar with every single day remember it's our daily routine so by looking at this can anybody tell me what time we hit the school without even if you don't even have to look at this just knowing what time do we arrive at school very good Sarah 8 a.m. And Abby, can you tell me what time we have reading? 9 a.m. Very good. So we're going to use our schedule here and we're going to use it to tell time on the clock. Sarah, you told us that we arrived at school at 8 a.m., right? Yes. And as I just said, our the little hand, the red hand, is our hour hand. So if we arrive at 8 a.m., we're going to want it to point to the 8 on the clock. Can you guys see that? That means that it's 8 a.m. Abby, you told us that we have reading at 9 a.m. So, can anybody guess what I'm going to do to show we have reading at 9 a.m.? Where would I put the little hand? The red arrow would point to 9. Very good. Okay, so we're going to show the time 9 o'clock, as I just did for you guys as an example, on your little clock. So, if you move the little circle on the back, you'll be able to move your clock. So I want the both of you to go ahead to make your clock match mine for it to be 9 a.m. And when you think you have it, let me know. tricky because both of the hands are on the 12 but that is 12 o'clock so very good Sarah then Abby what is your favorite part of the day lunch lunch time which is at 11 a.m. mine as well 
Can you go ahead and show me 11 a.m. on your clock? We're gonna go ahead and look into your time and why you put that and got 11 a.m., okay? Okay, Abby, can you tell me which hand is the hour hand? Which color? The blue. The blue? Yes. No, that's not right. Our hour hand is the red one. Okay. All right, so keep that in mind. So, what time did you want to put on your clock? 11. All right, do you want to do it together? Yes. All right, let's start with the blue one, which always stays on 12 when we're focusing on the hour. And now, which, can you point which number you want it to point to? 11. So I'm gonna draw the short red one right up here. Now, can you show me that on your clock? Good job. Do you want to work on another time? Sure. Pick a number. Four. Four? All right. Can you show me four o'clock and I'll show you four o'clock? Do they match? They do. Good job. <laughs> All right. Let's see what you guys know. I'm going to write out a time on my clock and I'll ask you guys to tell it back to me. Remember, we're just gonna be focusing on the red hour hand. There's a blue one to go. Right here. <laughs> why it says seven o'clock? Because the red hour hand is pointing at the seven. Good job. Ten o'clock. Good job. And it says ten o'clock because the red short hour hand is pointing to the ten. I have a tricky one for you guys. Can you tell me what time this is? Twelve o'clock. Yep, good job, because the red hour hand is pointing to the 12. Okay, so now I'm going to write out some times for you, like you're going to see on a digital clock, like on our schedule, when you see it around. And then I want you guys to show me what time would look like on your clocks, okay? So first, show me this time on your clock. You guys have the time? Alright, good job guys. And then who can tell me what time that is? Abby, go ahead. One o'clock. Very good. So we're going to do another time. Okay, and now I want you guys to show me this time on your clock. Where do you have your short hand pointing at? At the three. Because it is the hour hand. Very good. Okay. Now I want you guys to do this one for me. And this one shows together eight, eight o'clock. Very good. And I'm gonna have one more for you guys, and then we're gonna be done for the day. Okay, this is the last one. And then what time is it again? 
11 o'clock. Very good, guys. That's all for today. And then next time, though, we're going to start learning about the long hand or the minute hand, okay? But I want you guys to remember about your short hand for now, okay? Also, the more um, color choices, the merrier. <laughs>